Hello friends, in this video I am going to tell you about performing frequently used operations in SPSS. Some of the popularly used operations are identifying duplicate cases, sorting, selecting the cases, computing the variables, decoding and replacing the missing values. Before we begin use of various operations in the SPSS, let me give a background to this data file. This data file is related to capturing the perception of the respondents with regard to the restaurant they visit and how much time they spent on social media, for example, Facebook and WhatsApp. And uh, the perception about the restaurant is captured under four variables, ambience, food quality, menu variety. And the response is rated in the categories from very good to don't know. So very good is being treated as one, good two, and so on like this. Okay. And the responses are recorded in this manner. So let's start. Now, duplicate cases are those cases entered twice or the response pattern is same. So how to identify the duplicate cases? You click on data, click on identify duplicate cases. Now using the name variable, I will try to identify duplicate cases. So transfer this variable and click OK. Now, this is the output view which says that there are 25 valid responses and the number of duplicate cases are 3 and primary cases are 22. It means 3 cases are duplicate in the data file. Let's see who are those duplicate cases. Now the duplicate cases have been arranged at the top. Now you see Dhanmaya Gurung has been repeatedly entered 2 times. Similarly Dubchen Butia has been entered 2 times. Lal Beer Rai has been entered two times. So I will delete one response. Before deleting the duplicate cases, you please note that all the responses to the different variables, if they are same, then only you should delete the particular case. So here as I see that all the responses are same for all the variables for this Dhanmaya Gurung, it means this is a duplicate case and it will not make much difference in the data analysis. So I will delete this variable. Similarly, Dubchen Bhutia also I will delete and one Lalbir I. Now I have 22 valid cases which are not duplicate. So this was about identifying the duplicate cases. Now second, sorting. Sorting is used to arrange the data in, in ascending or descending order. It is similar to the operation which we perform in Excel. How to do this? Click data and click sort cases and I want to sort the cases using age. So age wise entire data would be arranged in either ascending order or if you want to do it in descending order, click on this descending. By default it is in ascending order. So click OK. Now you will see the data is arranged in ascending order of the, of the age. It's less age is appearing at the top and highest age is appearing at the last. So 25 to 57. Next operation is selecting the cases. Suppose if I want to perform the data analysis only on the male candidates. So who are the male candidates? Just to see this male candidates, click this value labels and it will turn the value labels to the text information. Okay. So I want to perform the data analysis only on male candidates. So how to do that? Uh, go to data and select cases. Click on if condition satisfied and if gender is equal to gender is equal to or you can transfer the equal to sign from here also equal to one because I have coded gender one as male and two as female. So click continue. And then press OK. Now you see in the data file all the respondents with gender female have been 
striked, it means they are not selected. Only respondents with gender male are selected. So any data, anal data analysis to be performed will now include only male candidates. Go reverse. Again, you do repeat the same. Go to data, select cases, and select. Oh, now you select all cases and click OK. So it will be reversed. Now the data is reversed. The striked lines are now not appearing. It means the data analysis will include both male and females. Suppose I want to calculate total perception score of the respondent related to ambience, food quality, menu variety, and services offered by the restaurant. So how can I do that? Go to transform, compute variable, give a variable name, new variable name, target variable, overall say overall perception statistical from the function group select sum of the score or you can take mean of the score let us take mean and transfer this mean to this box it will appear here now add ambience comma food quality comma menu variety comma service and remove this question mark click ok a new variable is created in your data file this is giving you overall perception score so you can see the overall perception score that is average perception score is 2.75 2.5 and this is the average of all these four variables ambience food quality mean menu variety and service okay sometimes at a later point of time you may come to know that the codes which you gave were wrong now you want to record the labels for the variables so how can you do that transform record into different variables or record into same variables if you use this command record into same variable the coding will be done in the same variable but i would suggest that you go for this record into different variables so that the originality of the data is not lost click on this record into different variable and select the ambience and the very output variable would be ambience new okay let us give this name and change now define old and new values old value 1 should be treated as 5 add 2 should be treated as 4 add and 3 should be treated as 3 add 4 should be treated as the new value for the 4 would be 2 add and 5 should be treated as 1 add now click continue now press ok you will see that a new variable ambience new has been created whose values are just reverse if you want to see the values ambience old ambience was 2 now this has been replaced with 4 old uh, for passing the ambience value was 4 which has been replaced with 2 and this is how the recoding has been done in new variable which is known as ambience new similarly it can be applied with all other variables sometimes there may be some values missing in the data set so how to fill those missing values so that the data analysis is not affected the results are same so uh, in order to do this let me omit some values from one variable say for example age i have deleted these three values from the age variables i want to replace these missing values 
with some appropriate age so that the entire data analysis is not affected how can i do that i'm going to transform click on replace missing values and transfer this age to the new variable box and replace with series mean okay if the variable is a scale variable then you can replace the missing values with series mean and the new variable would be age 1 click ok now you see there is a new variable created out here which is age 1 and the, there are missing values which have been replaced look at this observation earlier this was the missing value and how much value has been replaced the 41.8 41.8 is the average of the age series. Similarly, for Durga Chetri, you see 41.8 has been replaced at the missing value. Okay. Similarly, this Sujata Sharma, the age has been replaced by 41.8 years. Now, your results will not be affected after replacing the age with mean age of the series. So friends, hope you liked the video. For more updates on similar videos, please like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for the immediate notifications.